What if we try to explode the moon? The moon is one of the most useful things that nature could think of. Without the moon, the day on the planet Earth would not be 24 hours, but only six, which would make life on our planet to be much more dangerous than it is now. So, there would be many storms and winds on our planet, and it would be always completely dark at night. In addition, the moon stabilizes Earth, giving it a perfect inclination of 23 degrees, providing us the opportunity to see all four seasons. However, imagine that some very evil and malicious villain decided to blow up suddenly our natural satellite. Could he really do it? And if so, what would happen next? Perhaps the idea to blow up the moon can come only to the most desperate evil genius. The motives for such a strange act is difficult to understand, but let us assume that the evil genius just doesn't like this big white ball which hangs for some reason in the sky. For example, it keeps him awake all night because there are dogs howling at the moon under the window of the villain's home. Poor bad guy. Now I even understand him. Armed with nuclear weapons, ballistic missiles, and his grand plans, the villain did not take into account only that immediately after sudden disappearance of the moon from the sky, a giant tsunami would have passed around our planet, sweeping away everything in its path. The fact is that the moon's attraction is constantly attracting water on Earth, from the poles to the equator. With the disappearance of the satellite, the resulting bubble will just burst, and the water will rush to the coasts. Immediately after the giant tsunami, there would be a lull on the planet, which would make surfing completely disappear. In addition, the disappearance of the moon will make it much more difficult for mankind to explore space, because the Earth's satellite can serve as a good transshipment point for long-term space travel. But let's imagine that our hypothetical villain is not afraid of any tsunami or weather changes, and he decided that he will destroy the moon anyway. Fortunately for us, there is not a single source of energy available to humanity to cause any damage to our satellite. But what if our villain has a weapon a little stronger than we have now? Well, as we know, planets and their moons have a circular shape because it is the shape of their hydrodynamic equilibrium. In fact, any planet is just a big drop of magma and rock orbiting its star in outer space. It is because of this there are no mountains on Earth higher than 15 kilometers. The huge pressure created at the base of such a mountain will force the stone to leak. In other words, if you send a charge to the moon capable of creating at least a small crack, it just quickly disappears as if it did not exist. Checkmate, bad guy! Hmm. It seems to me that our villain decided not to give up, and he somehow managed to blow up the moon! I know that it is very difficult and almost an impossible task, but our villain is very optimistic and has a mega super weapon! One big bang! And finally, he did it! The moon turned into a large quantity of small and big pebbles orbiting our Earth the same way as it did the satellite, but... But, 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 but wait! What's happening? The discarded parts of the moon never flew away, but simply gathered into a new moon because of the force of gravity. Yeah, the new moon is probably not so beautiful as it was before, but it actually doesn't matter. The same story has already happened before in our solar system. The biggest Uranus's moon, Miranda, is actually this kind of a zombie satellite, because it was completely destroyed once by some very big celestial body, which first crashed into Miranda and then hit Uranus, turning it upside down. Falling to pieces, Miranda decided not to despair and just gathered again with the help of the force of gravity. Nowadays, Miranda has its round shape again, and it lives happily ever after, even with its scars. So, does all that mean that our moon is impossible to destroy at all? Well, I'll tell you a secret. The only way that can really destroy the moon is to make it collide with some big celestial body, which should be slightly larger than the moon itself. Fragments from such a collision will fall to Earth, destroying all life. Meanwhile, some of them will still be able to stay in orbit, forming beautiful rings around our planet. What a pity that no one will be able to see them! Well, I hope now you know that it's not a very good idea to blow up the moon. First, you simply will not succeed because it's a very hard task. And secondly, even if you do such a great explosion to see what happens next, then nothing good will come of it. And now you know why. Better subscribe to our Smart Bananas channel and let's explore our world together!